stuff in the garden. And bring it today. So this is. Gary, do we have to format our our our, uh, our thumb drives in any no, way? They, they, they should. They always come formatted. Okay. Uh, I'm so old, they didn't come formatted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the talent. The stone tablets you're talking about. Does everyone tablets. in the know here? I'll tell you, maybe you better use this yeah. to talk to you. Well, uh, the only way they're going to be able to see me is to be up here. and then, But then he's not going to be able to take screen. You want us to see the. Yeah, you have to display. see. Everything happens on the display over here. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, I'm trying. trying. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you're high up. Yeah. There we go. I can do it more than once if we need to do it in shifts. Okay. Should, should, I'm good. Should I'm good right here. Oh, are, you, are you close in on the display? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Okay, so here we go. The shadow on so the let me start from scratch here. One cold thumb um, drive. To save, when you save pistons with this system, it doesn't save just one level. It saves all 99. We'll put all 99 on here. Good. So, um, if if after you load your pistons, you want to have 99 levels of your own, you can change all 99. As long as you have this loaded, anytime you save, it will load. It will save onto here until you unload it or shut the organ off and turn it back on without a memory stick. And I'll show you how to save and how to load pistons. Okay. Um, obviously, first thing. Now, now the organ's up, and then you put the thing in. Correct. Okay. Yeah, if you boot it with that in, I think it automatically boots to that, but don't quote me on that. Okay. All right. I don't know. <clears throat> if I ever get my console set up at home, I'll know answers to all these <laughs> questions. But, um, okay. So once that's in, and you'll see the light when it's usually these drives almost always have an LED on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of doing this right now. That means it's idle. When it's saving, it flashes. Uh, but in order to save your pistons, there's there's uh, four buttons across the bottom of the display here. Yes. The one on the far left says Menu. And that steps you through the different menus of the system. Okay. Uh, what changes are the bottom two lines? Um, okay. Press it once. Uh, now I have a sequence, a mini sequence in here, but normally if you don't have mini sequences on here, it'll say no, no files found. Mm -hmm. Push it again. Um, well, that that won't come on. That's because there's a mini file in there. Uh, then there's metronome. I have no idea how that works. Okay. So, <laughs> and then you get to this one where you have a playlist, which I don't understand how that works yet, but. Eventually, I'll figure out where they'll. Uh, but you want the one called registration. Right. It's on two two lines here. It, mm -hmm. They hyphenated it. Yep. You push registration. To get that, I yeah, push the the, the, the three button. things on the bottom are the three buttons on the right. Correct. Okay. Yeah. The, this one is save. This mm -hmm. one, the, the function two is recall. Function three is copy. You can copy one level to another. Again, I'm not real clear on how that works, so use that at your own risk, but... But, in, but you just made Don's day. <laughs> what, copy one to the other? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, uh, if you're working off your, your... Once you load the drive here, you can experiment with that and not worry about messing up the pistons that are in the console. Yeah. Because once that's loaded, any changes you make only changes Change on the drive. in the drive. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. So you... And, and I'm going to try to, whenever I come in, I want to get a, a thumb drive for the back here and just back everything up and keep it right. on site so right. that in case something happens, I'll have, I may not have the most current backup, but there'll be something. But anyway, you want to choose save. And then there's uh, abort. Uh, there's, uh, okay, it says, it's kind of confusing here. It says mm -hmm. save. Flash default, this is flash drive. Your, okay. This is what they call flash, mm -hmm. your USB. Okay. Uh, the, the organ, the one that you you don't want to change, if you, this toggles through them, 
what this is, I don't know. That O F R A R A. I tried saving to it, and it fails every time. So just ignore Probably that. Probably a good thing. Right? Yeah, uh, but it'll toggle then. Then organ default. That's the organ internal memory. But that's what. If you don't have a memory stick in, that's what boots with the organ, okay. and what saves. You know, what's there now is in organ default. Um, but you want to toggle. See, this button over here says next. You just talk, and it toggles through. Them. You want to go to flash default, which is the USB drive, and hit save. And it will. You'll see the light flashing there. It's saving it onto there. Now, is saving that at this point 99 memories? Yes. Okay. Is it memories. saving a second group of 99, or is it overwriting the old 99? It doesn't in? touch default. It's only it doesn't touch the stuff in the console. It right. only. But it, I, I'm it asking about the flash drive. On the flash drive, is there always only one set of 99? Or Question. does it record a history of that? Uh, file, like file there's, numbers or something? No, there's only one set of 99. On the flash drive? Right. OK, thank you. So if you, if you brought up the organ default and then did that procedure, mm -hmm. it would overwrite any settings you had. And I'll show you right. how to get around that. I know this is a little confusing, but I'm not good at explaining things either. <laughs> um, now, all the settings that were in default memory are now saved on this drive. Yes. Uh, and my understanding is, and I'll confirm that here in a second, once you save it onto the drive, the drive is loaded. Okay. Um, and let me see. I'll just change one thing here that I can put back if need be. Yes, it's saving it onto the saving it onto right. the thumb drive, not into the it's Correct. not updating the default. Correct. And it should be on. Yes. Now, just for the heck of it, let me go back to the default uh, settings and see if it's not set. Okay. Uh, that you do um, the the menu button until yeah. you get to registration. Everything here is done mm -hmm. through the registration. Okay. Take that. And then instead of save, this time you're going to hit recall. Right. And you're going to toggle here. Let's see, it comes up flash, flash default. Right. You'll want to toggle to organ default. Yes. And hit recall. Now, it should, that diaphone should not be on that. Correct. But it is on the flash drive. So let me load that again. Go to registration, recall, and flash, flash. default. Right. And hit recall. Now we're loading the stuff from the thumb from drive from into the, thumb the drive. current memory. Once you create your thumb drive, um, it, to load it, that's what you do. You go to registration, mm -hmm. hit recall, and once you load it into memory, mm -hmm. anytime you make changes and hit the memory button here, it'll save to the flash drive. So don't ever go back and do this, the save combinations thing. You only do that once at the very beginning, uh, like I showed you um, mm -hmm. from the menu. Uh, subsequent times, once your settings are saved and you have a group of settings on here, you load it, make your changes, save it. Don't, uh, don't go through the save process or it'll overwrite it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I loaded this again. The diaphone should be down. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's updating the thumb drive. Yep. Is that bad? <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Is you, you say every time you save it to the thumb drive, it saves all 99 levels. Mm -hmm. well, is there is there a way to just save one level? No. Okay. Uh, when you when you save, it saves the whole organ. That's okay. why it hiccups. When it, when that's why I have the memory button and not auto save. Okay. It, now that supposedly is fixed, so that all may change. Uh, this memory button may go away because they they Mark tells me they have worked out a way to do auto save and it'll work like a regular console like yours mm -hmm. at home. You don't have to push the save yeah. button. It does it automatically. Because the reason I'm asking this, I think when Justin Lavoie was here the last time and 
one other artist. After they were finished, I brought a thumb drive in and saved their pistons, and I thought I was only saving theirs, their level, their memory levels. You hit save, it does the whole Okay, order. so I have everything. Okay. Now theirs but, is there. Yeah. So whatever levels they used yeah. will be the same. Okay. Um, and you could... So if, if, like, when Justin comes back, it would be safer for him to play from the thumb drive mm -hmm. that I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if, if, if they... You load the thumb drive and he can copy one memory level to the next or yeah. you know through the copy function here yeah well I actually took his level and put it on mine okay and then I was I've been using his stuff with okay. a few alterations oh. and you're on number 14, oh, 14. yeah okay. now the, the one thing I'm gonna complain about it doesn't show you in the display which what's loaded, whether it's this one mm -hmm. or the oh, default memory. Whether it's the drive or the console. And I'm, I'm going to see if I can get them to have a way to display that, so that you feel confident if you if you hit the save button and you're using two memory levels on your thumb drive here that you don't override override mm -hmm. somebody's settings. Um, hmm. Now, obviously, if you have drastically different things on organ default and you have like five memory levels of stuff set, you're going to know it's not the, the default memory in there. When you push pistons, you're going to recognize it, so you'll know. Um, but that's how that works. Uh, I think it's sort of self-explanatory if you go to registration here and you can copy. Okay. See, I'm on the thumb drive, so I can mess around with it. Okay, okay copy from memory. See, it says it starts at zero. From memory zero, yeah. And you can go next and previous, toggles that up and down. Okay. And you have to remember memory levels start with zero, um, just as they do on the display. And okay. I did that so that memory level zero is actually level right. zero. Right. Thank the you. The way I had it before. <laughs> What said memory level one on here was actually level zero. Yeah. And got confused. Mm, so, that's the way ours is. So um, oh, this is what I did when I copied Justin's stuff to the thumb drive. Okay. I just what, so then I only copied one memory level. Well, maybe you can can do that. Okay. Uh, now let's try memory level one. I hit OK. It selects the from. Yeah. And then it says copy two. Mm -hmm. yeah. And let's go to Okay, so memory level two. Now be mm. on that level. Quiet level. It should be. set level one to level zero. Now I'm on the thumb drive, so it didn't mess it. But um, yeah, I copied level, level one to level zero, and so now they're the same. So that's level zero, level one, and same thing. Mm -hmm. So you can copy one level to another. If you want to steal somebody's pistons, you just copy theirs to, <laughs> to your level. But, but it's that's the whole only... level, it's not just one piston. Correct. Yeah. It's you can't copy individual pistons. You can copy whole levels. Okay, but then that's but that's only in the thumb drive at this point. Uh, well, uh, you or can do that within organ default okay. also. If so you have the thumb drive out. That. Okay. Yeah. If you're if you're going to do that, what you can't copy one level from default, default memory to one level on flash memory. I, I don't, you can't do because there's nothing there to select. 
okay. which drive. So okay. um, if you want to, you could copy them to your thumb drive and then copy on, the, on your thumb drive, copy them to another level, you know. You, okay. It, it's kind of, I don't fully understand why. Is, isn't it true that we have levels one and zero reserved? For the zero, visitors, zero, zero, one, one, and two. Zero, oh, one, zero, one, and two. Zero, yeah. All three. Okay. So in a sense, we can experiment with those. Yeah. 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 As long as some artist <laughs> hasn't just set them well, up. Yeah, of course. You can buy of a course. case of thumb drives for yeah. each artist, and they can, yeah. you know, major yeah. artists. Yeah. Um, is there an eject for the thumb drive, or do you just pull it out? Okay. Yeah. yeah you don't have to un unmount it or anything now. I'm not sure what would happen if you tried to save it after you pulled that out. I don't know. I don't want to mess up the default memory yeah. but mm. to find out, at least without. Sometime when I'm in here with my laptop, I'll back up the original settings onto my laptop and I'll mess around with those things and and if it messes it up, I can put it back. But, yeah. Okay. But, uh, what are the red, those other two lights down there for? Uh, one is record, and I'll show you very briefly how to do a MIDI sequence if you want to do that. Um, you go to menu, uh, and it comes up here. Now, I just did a little test MIDI sequence, mm -hmm. uh, but if, if you already have a MIDI file on there, you can go to next and, and, and previous, or just okay. hit next, and it'll toggle through all the MIDI files on your drive. Okay. Uh, but I'm, in this case, I'm going to make a new one. And, I don't know whether this system captures the state when you start it. I think it does, but um, normally I just I start with shades closed, stops off, and then hit the center button is record, and then. Uh, and hit stop <laughs> and now to play it back it'll be there that one's this is the one I just okay. recorded and then you hit the, the button play, to play. It stops and change Sounded better the first time. It does sound better. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does general cancel. It, well, that's because I had to cancel at the end. But yeah. It will cancel. Okay. Like, if you forget, I think it will. That's neat. It throws a to general that. cancel. Oh, well, this is different from ours. I know. Okay. You know, and you can do playlists and, and stuff mm -hmm. with this. We I don't. We don't even have a film drive for us to save this and film. No. no. Okay. You have to do it on the laptop. Mm. Laptop. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, can you, you write all that, can you write all that down and <laughs> give us so, a handout? <laughs> well, Roy like I said, transcribe this. As secretary, Roy will transcribe Oh, there we go. <laughs> like, like I say, if, oh, if I get yeah. sick of waiting, I'll write something about that. Uh, but of course, you're, you're going to change it soon. Yeah. Because the yeah, auto. Correct. Right. And I'm it's all going to change so. until I bought. Okay. Well, the Wait, only thing that'll change is you won't have to hit the memory button. It'll okay. Okay. Do it okay. Without hiccuping like it does. Okay. Yeah. Okay.